Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. And I'm Captain Willie Dykes. You know, it's hard to believe another year has gone by, and <laughs> we're back here again at the Harbor Island Marina in Ocean City, Maryland, for the 44th annual White Marlin Open. And you know, this year's prize money is just a shade under <laughs> $5 million. Wow, $5 million. Well, I guess that's one of the reasons they call this the biggest billfish tournament in the world. And it's definitely great to be back here to witness all the excitement and unpredictable action that the White Marlin Open is known for. Although the weather looks like it could make things get off to a bit of a slow start, that just means the week could end with a bang. This year's tournament got off to an ominous start. 136 boats went out despite a nasty storm system that brought a tornado to Salisbury and severe wind and rain that had folks at the weigh-in scales scrambling for cover. All I know is the rain started to come a little heavier this round. We ceased cover under the merchandise tent, and then when that started to lift up, they told us to leave, so we had to run. So we ran, and now we're under this, like, house. <laughs> what a house. Yeah. This second house. There's a couple porta potties turned over. We have seen some emergency vehicles go by, but we're just kind of waiting it out right now. Get it outdoors, Delmarva! But despite the on-again, off-again rain, boats are still coming in with some nice fish. The hog wild out of Manteo, North Carolina, backs up to the scales old school style, bringing in our first wahoo of the open. So this morning it was nice, but this afternoon it was uh, a little bit snotty. The ride home was really wet. We had some thunderstorms right outside the inlet. Wouldn't have wanted to be on a smaller boat today. A local boat, the Streaker from Fenwick Island, shows up with our first boarded white marlin of the tournament. And we're all a little excited. Uh, first white marlin it came in, but it has to be 67 inches to qualify. That one was 66 and a half inches. Uh, a little bit of a letdown. And it started raining again. Wayne's World, party time. Wayne's World from Cape May, New Jersey, comes in carrying our second white marlin of the tournament. And this one meets the minimum length, so it's coming to the scales. It falls well short of the 70 pound minimum it takes to qualify, and day one ends with some disappointment and a lot of waterlogged folks at the scales. With only 12 boats fishing day two of the White Marlin Open, it's expected to be a slow day here at the scales. But the rough seas don't keep Blue Runner from bringing in a couple of yellowfin tuna, one of which is good for first place for now. But I don't know if it's going to stand. We can hope for another round of bad weather. That would be great. <laughs> but with over 300 boats still having three fishing days left, the final three days are looking to be pretty big. <laughs> We kick things off for day three aboard the Marley, who are heading out for their first day of fishing. The forecast is finally calling for a nice day out on the ocean, and with 297 boats fishing, it's going to be a big day. That's if the fish decide to show up. People are fishing for one, two, three bites a day. It's been kind of on the slow side this year. Jim Lido is pumped as usual, and so is the rest of the crew. After two lay days, they are anxious to get out and fish, and the crowd at the inlet is finally able to see a parade of boats head out to sea. Mate Mark Stevens is getting the lines ready, and once 8.30 rolls around, it's time to start fishing. The guys waste no time this year bringing out the scientifically proven to catch fish cinnamon flavored serum. There's no guarantee which species of fish you will catch, however. A few dolphin are hauled in, but these guys are looking for fish with bills. Okay, boys, here we go. That's when Brian Giorgetti of Graysonville, Maryland, finds himself in the hot seat.
Brian. That was awesome, man. I think I got tired before it did. A couple more suspected Marlins strike the lines. But never quite take the hook. But there's still a few minutes left to fish. See if we can't capitalize. We don't do it today in the next two minutes. We'll come back at tomorrow and try it again. Now it's 3.30 p.m. Time for the Marley and the rest of the fleet to head back to port. It's quite the sight seeing all these boats head into the inlet. And as Mark raises the white Marlin release flag after the Marley's first day of fishing, it's become clear to everyone that the 2017 White Marlin Open has now become a three-day tournament. Coming up next, the final three days of the White Marlin Open are shaping up to be big. Find out if any qualifying Marlin will make it to the scales. But first, did you know? A White Marlin must meet a minimum weight of 70 pounds to qualify for prize money. How heavy was the biggest White Marlin in tournament history? And what year was it caught? The answer when we come back. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru, higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine. And your local LG home comfort dealers. Outdoors Del Marva will be right back. 